It was the day before class elections. Aiden really wanted to be the school president. He was known as the class clown. He liked to tell a lot of jokes, usually at the expense of others. His jokes weren't even funny, but kids laughed because they were afraid of him. Despite acting so tough, Aiden cared about what others thought of him. When Aiden got to class, the teacher was introducing a new kid. He was holding a doll. Aiden laughed out loud. This kid was too old to have a doll at school. The teacher continued, asking the class to try to make him comfortable and welcome. The new kid sat down and put the doll in his backpack facing Aiden. Aiden was distracted by the doll and its big, creepy eyes. He started hearing drums, repeated drums, over and over and over. He looked around, but no one else seemed to hear them. The recess bell rang and the drums stopped. It must have just been marching band practice. Aiden headed to recess. On the blacktop, the new kid stood off on the side, holding his doll and watching the other kids play. Aiden was weirded out and told the new kid to leave. The new kid didn't budge. Aiden snatched the doll from the kid's hand and threw it to the other side of the playground. You're too old for dolls. Suddenly, the drum started beating. Louder and louder. So loud, Aiden buckled over in pain, covering his ears. The new kid's eyes got big and he hissed at Aiden that his worst nightmare would become reality. Then, he snatched up his doll and ran off. Aiden looked around, but no one else seemed to notice the encounter. That night, as Aiden laid out his suit for his presidential speech the next day, he couldn't stop thinking of those loud drums and how angry the new kid got. Did that doll have powers? That's silly. It was just a doll. Once Aiden fell asleep, he saw the face of the new kid's doll with its big eyes and creepy smile. He heard the drums. He saw the faces of the kids he always made fun of laughing at him. The new kid spoke again. Your worst day is here. When Aiden's alarm rang, he jolted awake, drenched in sweat. Today was the big day, election day. Aiden had his speech ready. He was going to show the new kid who was the boss and make fun of all the other kids that stood in his way of becoming class president. When he got to class, he noticed that the new kid wasn't there. Good, maybe he'll never come back. The principal announced over the loudspeaker that all students running for class president should head to the auditorium. Aiden grabbed his suit and prepared for his big speech. The auditorium was packed with every kid in the school. It was finally Aiden's turn. He checked himself out in the mirror and was impressed with what he saw. His name was announced and he walked onto the stage. The room was very cold and quiet. Then, all of a sudden, laughter. Why were they laughing? Louder laughter. Aiden hadn't cracked one joke yet. Even the teachers were laughing. What was going on? The drums echoed in Aiden's ear again. And in the front row, he saw the new kid with a smile on his face holding his doll. The doll was wearing a suit now, the same exact suit that Aiden had on. Aiden looked down, horrified. He realized he was in his underwear, standing in front of the entire school. The laughs got even louder as Aiden tried to run off stage and tripped. The new kid was right. This was his worst nightmare.